Hi, I'm Matt Wiederhold with Main Street Medina. Welcome back to another edition of Medina Minute. Won't you join me inside to meet some of the faces, places, and businesses around the Medina Square? Today we're here with Gene Whaley, partner and COO of Foundry Social. Gene, thanks so much for coming up to the square and sitting down with us. Always a pleasure. Thanks for having me. So, how long have you been involved with Foundry Social and the, and the whole encompassing warehouse revitalization going on down there? Yeah. So the warehouse, uh, actually, high voltage <laughs> carding just celebrated its fifth year. Oh wow! Okay. Um, about uh, three months ago. Yeah. And uh, I've been involved probably. Uh, two and a half years at okay. this point. Now okay. With it. Okay. So, five six years ago, Greg, one of the owners, walked in and apparently bought this massive building that no one really realizes how big the darn thing is, and opens this amazing golf cart company, go, uh, high voltage karting. And then a couple years later, you guys have the crazy idea to take this warehouse, literally falling apart and making Foundry Social. Yeah. Well, walk me through that decision <laughs> process, because I remember going down there. Um, Right, right when you guys were talking about it, and literally, there were ceilings gone, there were mud pits, like it, it was war zone. Yeah, yeah, for sure. What were you thinking, man? Yeah, I know. Well, you know, look, at the past few months, we're still asking ourselves that question, <laughs> you know, uh, but the reality. Yeah, pandemic society. <laughs> yeah, so the, the, the reality is, is, you know, Greg is really a, a visionary. Yeah. And, you know, years ago, he was on vacation in Florida, and took a, you know, was working and, and uh, took a break, went and did this indoor go-karting thing, and he's walking around and he realized, you know, look, everybody's having a great time, it's mostly adults, yeah. and everybody's smiling. And he's like, man, we need that in Ohio. And, and what a cool thing, because if, if we can also do it indoors, we could do it year-round, which we really need oh, yeah, yeah. as well. And so, you know, the other part of our mission as a company is to make a difference for people. So we were really, you know, he was even at the time looking for a, a, a place where he could make a difference in the community yeah. that he was at, you know, and so everything really kind of led to that building and Medina, you know, the, the, all of his initial conversations with anybody from the city um, were that they were super helpful and they were, yeah. you know, really willing and <clears throat> wanting to, uh, they were pro-business, sure. you know, in, in all ways. And the building itself is 150,000 square feet. Did I answer that question? It's huge, and people you. don't realize because when yeah. you drive up and see the front of it, you're like, oh. But if yeah. you just look down the side, it keeps going and yeah. going and going. Well, it's, it's like most manufacturing <laughs> companies, you know. Yeah. You, they've got like a little house in front of it, you know, and then a building that you, you can see, but it's not until, but they just continue to add on and add on and yeah, add on. It's so cool. Yeah. How did you come up, or how did you guys, y'all, how did y'all come up with Foundry Social? So we, we were actually, you know, I think it was, you know, Greg's vision to, you know, have some kind of a complementary business to high voltage there yeah. anyway. And, um, but as we really started to dig into the demographics of high voltage, you know, we realized that our, our, uh, our, our guest, our customer there, um, you know, was uh, a 19 to 35 year old male. Wow. And it was very, uh, uh, in, in large numbers, um, that's who our, our guests were. Yeah. And so we, we, you know, at the time we're having two and three hour waits on the weekend to race. And so we really wanted to change the demographics. It was, it was such a, a cool place and the karting was so much fun to do, but, not, but it wasn't drawing everybody. Mm -hmm. And we felt like, and I, you know, I have uh, three daughters and a, and a son, and, and I would take my daughters and my wife there and they would love it. And it's like, how do we get everybody yeah. to experience that and have fun with it? So what we, what we, what we did was we went looking for complementary businesses or activities okay. um, that would really round out our demographics and make it a place that anybody could go sure, to and sure. enjoy. It's, I'm fascinated to hear, so 19 to 35 year old males, that is the complete opposite of the demographics that we get up here in the square. Right. So you really are kind of helping round out that experience about coming to Medina and hanging out. Yes. So what's your connection to Medina? Are you from here? Are you here for business? How, how did you end up in this crazy little town with fast things and pinball and well, great it's really beer? Kind of, it's really kind of funny because there's, there's four of us that are partners there and none of us are from Medina. 
I didn't realize that. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, one of the partners lives here now. Okay. Um, but uh, none of us were from here. It really, for us, it was um, a number of factors, but mostly, you know, it was a, it was a great midway point almost for Akron mm -hmm. and for Cleveland. Okay. You know, and any other surrounding areas. Yeah. And so, you know, we were looking for a certain number of, of people you know, with you know, within a uh, certain, you know, uh, radius, if you will, and um, and so there were other places we could have gone. But honestly, the, you know, what we felt when we came here, mm. um, just from the square, yeah. you know, and 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 what we felt from the city when we started having those discussions, um, and and um, it just felt right, you know. And we were looking for we found a place that really, you know, when you walked in, it's it's. If you can see it, right. you know, if you have the vision of what it could be, you'd be like, oh my gosh, this is an amazing place. And it's about to be tore down, <clears throat> right. you know, and it's in a neighborhood that, you know, at the time really with some help could e be easily revitalized. Mm -hmm. And those, so those were, those were just parts of it that really endeared it to us. Yeah. What, what did you do before becoming involved with Foundry Social? Or, or what, what else do you do in addition to Foundry Social? So we also have a technology company, okay. uh, Keystone Technology in Akron, where we are, we're an outsourced IT company for um, other manufacturing companies and, and so forth. Mm -hmm. And um, so we're really, you know, uh, um, a bunch of nerds that like to have fun. Yeah. That's fantastic. So, so did the nerds all sit around the round table and decide what games and, and fun things you're going to have in Foundry? For the most part. Yeah? Yeah, that was a big part of it. Are you like living your dream? I, uh, I, I look, feel like I, you're this nerd kid that grew up, <laughs> but you still get to be a nerd kid and be a really look, cool nerd kid. We tell everybody that, you know, when they ask, you know, how did you land on the things that you did to, to put in there? And we always say, look, it's, ev it's everything we want to do when we go out. Yeah. Okay. You know, when we when we grab our wives and, and our families and, and we're going out somewhere, it's all there. Yeah. I mean, the only thing we don't have maybe is like a, you know, a room with puppies. There's space. I know there's space. There's, there's plenty space. of space. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that would definitely that would definitely round yeah. it up for me. Yeah. So much. Um, so, w what has your experience been, city city aside? What what do you think of Medina? Like, what what represents this community to you? When you tell people, obviously, come to social, Foundry Social and High Voltage, what do you tell them about the city? I, I tell them that, um, that the, the, the people in this city um, are fantastic and they're loyal um, and they're willing to try things and, um, <clears throat> and, and you know, it, it's almost like the, the city was really starving for something like this yeah. to really do and to, and to not have to travel outside the city. Um, to have that kind of fun, you know. You, you're absolutely right. We're we're a great place to raise a family. Yes. A great place to live and work. Not such a great place for the social scene. Yeah. You know, we, we don't really have a club scene or anything. So you, yeah, you guys hit the nail on the head. Absolutely. Yeah. We have a lot of <laughs> lot of guests that as they come through, say just shocked that this is here. Yeah. Normally this normally, you know, I think that I would have to drive to Cleveland or or Columbus or some place like that to have this kind of experience and it's mm -hmm. right in my hometown. So are, are, are you getting local support? Is it mixed, local and regional? Like where, where are your customers coming from? So um, it, it is a unique business and really yeah. really because of high voltage, right? Um, we, we, when we do a heat map of where our customers are coming from, mm -hmm. um, we draw as far as Youngstown. Oh wow. And as far as Mentor. <clears throat> That's incredible. As far as Mansfield. Yeah, okay. Um, and then, you know, Elyria around in there. That's the circle of our, of our guests. That's big. It is very big. That's awesome. You know, so it's almost a destination place. Yeah. Um, um, and, and each month, 70% of our guests are brand new. Really? Mm. Wow. How? Um, but I, but I, I want to add, but that, but, you know, what we've seen you know, the last few months really is the is the is the local community. Yeah. You know, um, coming out on the weeknights even. Yeah. You know, and supporting us and uh, and so forth. So, we're we're getting close to having a great blend of of locals and uh, um, and a destination place. I think people are just so eager to do something yeah. and get out. Yeah. What well, you talked a little bit about the neighborhood. What what has the experience been and the response? Um, 
Because you put a massive entertainment complex in the middle of a neighborhood that needs some love. H how has that worked in partnership? Uh, well, I'll tell you what, it, it's worked fantastic. Okay, uh, let me just say that, I guess, from the, from the beginning. And the, the things that the, that the, you know, I can speak to both the city and, and you know, uh, groups like you, mm -hmm. you know, and what they've done for us, right? Be because we're not really on the square, we're only a mile <clears throat> off the square. Right. You know, and so, they're, and so I mean, we, we spend a lot of money each month advertising. We have to, yeah. because, because you don't just accidentally, you know, drive out driving and end up at our place. Right. You know, and so... Um, uh, this, the, the, the city has been fantastic. The neighborhood has really embraced us. Oh, good. Okay. You know, we've gone through a, a, a number of um, levies, even. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I guess levies not the word for it, but we didn't have a Sunday liquor license. Right, right. You know, and that, that particular um, uh, area could, couldn't have it. It had to be passed. Oh, wow, okay. You know, and so, the, the, so we had to count on the neighbors, our, yeah. you know, our neighbors, to, to, to allow that to pass, to pass it. And they did. And they did. Okay. You know, we have a, a church, Second Baptist Church is right down the street from mm -hmm. us. And, you know, anything that we're trying to do that has any connection with, you know, uh, liquor or beer or anything, you know, they have to play a role in that. Okay. And they've been fantastic. Good. Um, Good. We have a great working relationship with them. And, and I, I don't even know if you know, but we did a, um, one of our relationships with them was, you know, um, Pastor Ruff in there, wanted to have um, like seminars for his kids. Oh, cool. Before school okay. started. He wanted to do a seminar on um, bullying and a seminar on manners. Nice. Okay, which they're doing fantastic stuff there. Yeah. You know, and, but he didn't want a handout for, for, his, for his kids. Sure. Right? And so in, it, all of his kids that came and went through the seminars and passed earned the right to come down to High Voltage. That's and really Foundry. cool. That's and, really cool. You know, we rented some blow-up toys and things. We had a big cookout for them. Yeah. And and then they had to ask properly, you know, in order to uh, race and to uh, uh, and so forth. So um, we 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 try and get you know we've done we've done Halloween for the neighborhood before. Yeah. And that so we we try and stay engaged with the neighborhood and we're look I mean the city's <coughs> put in new streets, new sidewalks. That's we've seen really a lot cool. of houses flip back in there, you yeah, know. Yeah, you're, you're seeing kind of that trickle out yeah. effect of the investment that you guys have yeah. made. Yeah, and look, we try and be sensitive to it as well. Sure. You know, like we're, I mean, I mean, we're a bar. We could be open till two o'clock. We mm -hmm. choose not to be. Yeah. You know, we choose to, to close earlier than that just to um, to do that. We have signs everywhere because it, it sure seems, I guess, that after you are, are racing these go-karts that you kind of want to get in your car and, and forget, you it's know, hard to let it's up hard to let up it? on the gas, I guess, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, we try and remind everybody when they leave and we put post signs all through the parking lot, you know, to slow down and we love our neighbors and, and so forth. That's really so, cool. Yeah. That's cool. So when you're not working at Keystone Technology and you're not working at Foundry or High Voltage, do you ever get a break? Do you get <laughs> to get away? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We all do, actually. Yeah. And that, that's the value of having, you know, four partners um, is, you know, we really share in the responsibilities and the roles and things that happen there. Yeah. What's, what's your go-to vacation place? You're like, guys, I've had enough. Grab the wife, we're going here for the weekend. <laughs> well, it's kind of funny because, you know, we also have, uh, I have three, my wife and I have three grandkids. Oh, cool, okay. You know, and we always, you know, we, uh, we always said, you know, hey, we want to get a condo somewhere where, um, where the kids would want to visit us. Yeah. You know, and so we actually have one in Orlando. Oh, nice. So anytime we want to get away, we, uh, we head down to Disney. Yeah, and uh, and have the uh, kids join us and Very and cool. have some fun. So yeah. Now, how old are the grandkids? Uh, so they are six, four, and eight months. <laughs> so six and four, about the perfect age oh, for yeah. Disney. Yeah. Eight months, we'll get there. Yeah. Oh we'll yeah, get there. for sure. What's uh, what's on the horizon, or or what's the next big thing? If you can share anything coming up at Foundry or High Voltage, because you you still have. Yeah. I don't know, 70, 80,000 square feet of space to develop yeah. and do cool stuff in. Well, that's a good point. With uh, with uh, 150,000 square feet, and then we we uh, I think the two businesses now are at a, and we haven't talked about Mad Brewing at all either. Oh, that's um, right. Yeah. You know, Mad Brewing between those three, we're um, probably at about 60,000 square feet is okay. what we're using. So we've got another, as you said, 80, 90,000 square feet to do something yeah. with. You know, what we're what we're um, you know uh, some things are our parent, right? Like. Um, 
you know, it is our intention to brew our own beer okay. there. Um, and we've had a you know a couple of uh, hurdles to get through, sure. you know, including you know the the last you know uh, six months or so. So, but at some point we will be brewing our own beer. Yeah. There. The other the other piece is you know some of the things that we put in there or wildly popular. You know the duck pin bowling can have an hour wait. You know Absolutely, on the weekends. Yeah. You know the the billiards tables. Well, we have two of them, and there's usually a wait for those. Yeah. I don't know if we could ever have enough cornhole. Uh, you know, it's, it's, I know. it's one of those things. <laughs> I'm terrible at it, so I just don't get it. I know. But people are. They love it. They, they love, love it. They absolutely man. love it. You know, um, and you know, the event room has been uh, wonderful. I think we've yeah. we've become you know Northeast Ohio uh, destination for birthday parties. Cool. You know, that's great. And, uh, and so. I think you know any the next set of renovation is probably just to fix some things we didn't expect. Yeah. You know, um, the kitchen has been swamped. <clears throat> we really need a, a, a larger kitchen yeah. at this point. We probably need to add some more bowling lanes. We probably need a pool room. Okay. You know, or, or you know, yeah. yeah. And uh, so we can start to do some leagues and, and things like that. I know we were really disappointed not to be able to have our beer fest there this year. Uh, we were so, so are we. excited. So were we. <laughs> Tickets were selling so I well, know. and it was going to be so cool. But yeah. we're uh, hoping to come back and partner with you next year. Well, well so we certainly look forward to that. And and what it did, you know, ha having that on the calendar forced us to clean all that up. Okay. Too, well, there you, you go. know, and to put heaters in and everything like that. So yeah. we're ready for any other, you know, big, huge event like that that right. needs to be inside too. When everything opens back up, we'll yeah. be knocking on the door. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Gene, thank you so much for coming up and oh, my talking pleasure. with me a bit. It was great to learn more about you and Foundry. Well, we're thankful for all that you do. And I, and I can tell you even, you know, we have friends in, the, in similar businesses and that around and nobody has like restaurant week, you know, and I mean, just, there's just some things that I know you folks spearhead for on behalf of the city and city businesses and that, that you just don't get anywhere else. And I don't know if anybody has ever, you know, said thank you enough, um, but well, thank, thank you, you enough. You're and uh, it's it's very effective, and uh, one of the things that you know just make us proud to be part of the community here. Well, great. We're glad to have you here. Thanks so much. Great. Right.